So I use Apple Watch daily and it got a lot of features in it. But if I talk about one feature in which this watch automatically detects if I'm walking or even cycling and asks me if I want to start a workout or not. And all this detection is happening inside the watch itself without the dependency of any external cloud server. Well, this is a very beautiful application of machine learning on the edge. And it made me curious, like, can we make such similar working model of detecting motion using machine learning? learning on the edge with the help of the tiny microcontroller boards. Well, this video will answer that question. So first, let's try to build a simple gesture detection project in which it can detect the up, down and the left, right motion. And for that, we need a microcontroller board and a six axis IMU for motion tracking. And luckily, I found a board called as Shao NRF Sense, which got both the things built in. But it's not like we can make this project with that particular hardware only, but we can use some other microcontroller boards as well, like the Particle Photon 2 Wi-Fi board and LTE connected Particle Board on board. And we do have a dedicated article about how we can use both these boards with Edge Impulse for motion detection. And the great part is, currently, they are having their holiday extravaganza sale with some door buster deals including the $9 Photon 2S and $29 Boron and up to 80% off on all the other popular products. So if you are planning to get a particle board, well, this is a perfect time to get one for yourself. So I'll be linking away the holiday sale link down in the description of this video. So do check them out. And now let's move on to the computer and start collecting the data for gesture detection. So first we need to go to the edgeimpulse.com website and here you have to create an account and log into your account. In my case, I already logged into my account. So I'll click on create new project and let's just give this project a name as motion tracking project. Click on create new project. Now here we'll go inside the data acquisition tab to collect the data. So here first we need to connect a device through which we'll be collecting the data. And as usual, we have three options. We can connect a smartphone, uh, connect to computer, or connect the external development board. Now here, uh, earlier we have tried the using the smartphone, but this time uh, for doing the motion tracking, when I use the smartphone sensors data, of course it was able to capture the data. I also trained the model and exported it. And when I tried testing it with the uh, microcontroller board, the data was not matching okay so the phone census data and the census data was not able to match and i was not able to make the exact project so here to make the project work we need to capture the data from this microcontroller board or this sensor board only and then we'll be able to do the perfect tracking and for that we need to click on connect your device or development board and now here we need to connect it via data forwarder okay so now this involves a couple of steps to be performed to capture the data from this device uh, to the Edge Impulse platform. For that, uh, there is an article from Seed Studio only, and here they have guided what steps to be performed. So first, we need to install uh, this Node.js. So I can click here, and uh, this page will open up, and I'll just download this Node.js. After downloading, just install it. Okay, so that was all about the first step. Now the second step is we need to install Arduino CLI. And for that, we need to go inside the installation page mentioned here. And here are a couple of the commands which we need to type inside a terminal to install the Arduino CLI. So I'll open up the terminal and here I'll copy these commands and I will paste it here and press enter. Now in my case, it is giving me the warning because I already installed the Arduino CLI in my computer. But you need to follow these steps to install Arduino CLI. Now, the thing is, it may work at the first glance, it may not work or rather it can throw some errors as well. In my case, it was throwing the error initially. But what you can do is you can just uh, copy that error that you are getting inside the terminal, paste it inside the chat GPT and the chat GPT will give us the solutions or give us the steps to be performed to solve that error. So chat GPT was quite helpful for me to install all these things. And later after doing the Arduino CLI, now we need to install the Edge Impulse CLI. So I'll copy this command and later I will paste it here and press center okay so that step is also performed here and again letting you know in case if you face any issue which i think you will and the issues are different in different different computers based upon which package are missing which files are missing so better you ask the question to chat gpt rather than asking to us or in the comment section well that will be uh, much more faster for your project so okay so after doing these three steps now we need to connect this uh, board with our computer which in my case i already connected and later we need to upload one sketch first of all which is here okay so we need to upload this sketch and before uploading this sketch we need to install this library into our arduino id which in my case i already installed it so i'll just uh, copy this uh, uh, code provided here 
open up my Arduino IDE, we'll paste it here and here I will select the board as Shao NRF Sense board. Now to get this NRF board into Arduino IDE, we need to perform a couple of steps which are mentioned in the article called as getting started with the Shao NRF board from Seed Studio. Now I'll be linking away the link of this article down to the description of this video. So follow all the steps mentioned here and uh, in your computer as well, the Shao NRF board will appear. So select it and without doing any changes at all, you just need to hit the upload button and the code will get uploaded into the NRF sense board. Okay, so later after successfully uploading the code, now we can go back to the Edge Impulse dashboard and here click on connected device, click on connect device uh, or development board. And now we can copy this command and paste it inside a terminal and press enter. Now make sure this board is connected with your computer and uh, uh, it is not at all utilized. Like there is no other serial monitor should be open uh, with this port connected, okay? And here now it is asking for the email ID of our Edge Impulse. So I'll write down the email ID uh, through which uh, I'm logged into my Edge Impulse account. Next it is asking me for the password. So I'll enter the password and now it is detecting the COM port on which this board is connected and it got detected and now as you can see all my edge impulse project also appeared here so i'll select the project uh, in which i want to enter the data which is the motion tracking project and uh, now all this detected all the three axes data sent by this device the x y and z axis and it is asking us to set the name of all those axes so i'll just name it as x comma y comma z press enter and okay our device is uh, connected with the edge impulse account and previously it also asked me for the device name in which i have entered shao here this time it didn't ask but in your case if it asks you can give any device name of your choice and now i can go back to my uh, edge impulse dashboard and as you can see the device name shao is now connected okay so click on get started and now what i can do is i can uh, give a label to it so i just uh, first record the data for up down motion so i'll name the label as up down sampling length is 10 thousand millisecond which is 10 second which is okay in my case and here i can click on start sampling and now i'll do the motion of uh, up and down so basically this is uh, the data is being recorded by the edge impulse and soon we'll be able to see the data recorded okay it's done and here as you can see this is the data recorded uh, in the edge impulse which is provided by the nrf board and similarly i'll record a couple of more uh, samples for it because in machine learning uh, the more the number of data the more accurate your model will be so let me just do it quickly Okay, so I took around seven samples of up and down motion. Collectively, it became one minute and 10 seconds of data. Now here I'll change the label to left, right. And again, I will start sampling the data, but this time with the left and right motion. As you can see this is the left right motion sample data captured similarly i'll record six more samples of it okay so i successfully captured seven samples for left and right motion and here i will uh, do one more sampling which will be for idle state okay so when it is not left and right when it is not up and down it uh, must be in the idle state so i'll just start sampling and keep the device uh, uh, steady like in idle condition and also record seven samples of uh, the idle state as well So idle state captured and here as you can see this is how the idle uh, data looks like and let's just capture six more samples. And we are done with uh, capturing the data and collectively the complete data set is of 3 minute and 30 second which is not that much data but it's enough for the demo application. Okay so now after collecting the data now we'll split into train and test and we'll do in the ratio of 80 and 20 so I'll select two two samples of uh, uh, all the three what you can say labels and I'll just move into the test set. Okay, so we are done. So that was all about the data collection and now we can go inside the create impulse here Let's just keep everything as it is as by default click on the save button now here We'll just increase the window size to 2000 milliseconds. So every two seconds it will like uh, Capture the data and analyze whether it is an up down motion left right or was it the idle state later We'll click on add processing block and here we'll select spectral analysis of that add learning block and we'll choose classification and later click on save impulse after that, click on spectral features. 
and here we'll keep everything as it is and click on save parameters and let her click on generate features so we are done with this step and later we can go inside the classifier here we'll keep everything as it is and click on save and train model Okay, so the model training is complete and we got the accuracy of 100% means all the raw data that we have provided were perfectly fine. And now we are good to go to deploy it. So we'll go into the deployment section here, select the deployment option as Arduino library and just click on the build button. Okay, so Arduino library built successfully and it is downloaded into my system. And now we need to install that library and we just need to upload one code to test our ML model. So let's just do that quickly. Okay, so now here inside the Arduino ID, I'll go into sketch into include library then into add zip library and here I'll go to my downloads folder and select the zip library and click on the open button. Now this will automatically install this library in my system. As you can see the library is successfully installed. Now after installing we'll go back to this uh, wiki page from Seed Studio. Here in the step 19 we need to download the code. So click here to download. Now I'll open that code we just downloaded. And now here in the code we just need to change the first library according to the library which we have downloaded. So to know uh, what's the header file name uh, you can go to the examples of that particular library which you have downloaded. You can open any of the example code and here just copy this first line I'll copy it and I'll simply paste it here so that's the change that you do inside the code to make it work on your uh, system with your model and rest of everything will remain as it is so now I'll select the right board and com port and straight away hit the upload button Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded and I'll open the serial monitor here and first let's just keep it in the normal rest position and see uh, what results we are getting Okay, so the idle state is around 0.89 means 89% uh, percent probability that it is an idle state which is perfectly fine and uh, now let's just start doing some motion so as you can see right now 97% percent probability. So now let's just do the motion of up and down and let's see. Okay, as you can see the up down motion probability is 0.92 that is 92% percent, so it is also perfectly working fine. Let's just right, uh, do with the uh, right and left. Okay, so right left probability is 0.74, that means 74%. So that was all about the basic motion detection or the gesture detection project using Edge Impulse. And now, similarly, we can do the advanced level project as well, just like our Apple Watch in which it can detect walking or jogging and stuff like that. So for that, uh, we need to collect different sets of data, we need to create a different model, and then later we need to upload it. So let me show you how we did that and what results we are getting. So once again, we started collecting the data by putting the shower board in the pocket and we collected the data for walking, running and standing idle and collectively we recorded around seven and a half minutes of raw data. Later, we followed the same step of creating the impulse, spectral features and classifications and after training the model, we got the accuracy of 99.7% which is really good. Later, we exported the model in Arduino library format and installed it in our Arduino IDE and finally, after changing the header file, we straight away hit the upload button. And with this, we are done with all the steps required for our project. And now, let's test out our ML model. So first, I put the shower board in my pocket and here, as I'm standing idle, as you can see, the probability of stand label is the highest. Later, I started walking slowly and here as you can see, the probability of walking label is the highest right now. And lastly, when I started running, the probability of the running label is the highest. Okay, so that was all about our project in which we are able to track the motion by using Edge Impulse with the machine learning on the Edge without dependency of any external cloud server. So this is one of the many other uh, projects that you can make with this, like you can track uh, the squats or what can say skipping or any other different kind of exercises. All these features are already available in the smartwatch and you can like build those features with the help of the tiny microcontrollers by following the same method which we have shown in this video. So how was this project according to you? Well, share your thoughts down in the comments of the video and also let me know what more projects you want to see in our machine learning tutorial series. Share your thoughts and suggestions down in the comments of the video. And yes, if you learned something new out of this video, a like will definitely be appreciated. And yeah, with that being said, I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video. Until then, explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.